three Labour MPs resign from front bench roles in protest at Boris Johnson's Brexit deal the Labour Party has been dealt a huge blow after Shadow Cabinet Office Minister Helen Hayes, as well as two other MPs, resigned from the front bench after abstaining in the Brexit deal vote. The other two ministers to resign from their roles were Florence Echelomi and Tonia Antoniartsi. Moos Hayes tweeted, I'm grateful to all who've contacted me on the EU future relationship bill. I can't vote for this damaging deal and have abstained today. With much sadness and regret I've offered my resignation as Shadow Cabinet Office Minister. It's been a privilege to serve. The three Labour resignations comes after Boris Johnson's Brexit trade deal with the European Union easily cleared the House of Commons. Following four hours of debate, MPs voted by 521 to 73 in favour of the European Union, future relationship bill, ratifying the agreement announced on Christmas Eve, a third reading. The bill now proceeds to the House of Lords, where peers are expected to debate it until around 10.30pm on Wednesday. This is also expected to pass the upper chamber, and will then go to the Queen for royal assent, with an announcement expected around midnight. The series of developments would pave the way for the deal to take effect at 11pm on Thursday when the deadline for the current Brexit transition period between the UK and EU expires. In the Commons, the Brexit trade deal received large support after both the Labour Party and the backbench Tory hardline Eurosceptics, the European Research Group, vowed to vote in favour of the agreement with the EU. Labour leader had ordered his party's MPs to vote in favour of the deal, despite describing it as thin and with many flaws. He added, there's only one choice today, which is to vote for implementing this deal or to vote for no deal. Those that vote no, are voting for no deal. This is the nub of it, those voting no today want yes. They want others to save them from their own vote. Voting no, wanting yes, that's the truth of the situation and that's why my party has taken a different path. The SNP, Liberal Democrats, and DUP all voted against the deal. The SNP's Westminster leader Ian Blackford described the trade deal as an act of economic vandalism while also attacking Labour for failing to oppose it. He raged, I am sad to say that the official opposition has been missing in action. I can understand that this might be politically pragmatic for Labour but it definitely isn't politically principled. Boris Johnson had earlier told the Commons the deal would enable the UK to trade and cooperate with the EU on the closest possible terms while taking sovereign control of our laws and our national destiny. Opening the debate on the bill, the Prime Minister said he hold it would end the old, desiccated, tired, super-masticated arguments, which have dogged the country for years and enable it to move forwards to a new and great future. He told MPs, it embodies our vision shared with our European neighbours of a new relationship between Britain and the EU as sovereign equals joined by friendship, commerce, history interests and values while respecting one another's freedom of action. We are going to open a new chapter in our national story, striking free trade deals around the world and reasserting global Britain as a liberal, outward-looking force for good.